Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today um, is inspired by the elder apostle Rakar, all right, from the GMS Mean Camp. Um, I'm going to entitle this video um, A Burger, A Burger Cooked, all right? A Burger Cooked and, and Not Yet Turned. A Burger Cooked and Not Yet Turned. <laughs> but the day is coming that it's going to be turned. So um, what I'm talking about is the burger uh, that's cooked is, is likened onto our people, you know? It's just, an, it's just an analogy, you know? It's likened onto our people, okay? We, we've been cooked, man, all right? And meaning what, 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 what the enemy have done to us, man, okay? So um, once again, this lesson today uh, is inspired by the elder apostle Rakar's video. It's a, it, the, the, his video is uh, entitled, uh, This Devil is Gonna Pay, Man. And uh, you can find it on uh, uh, on his channel, uh, GMS Push Harder. Uh, it was done May 3rd, 2022. Okay, and uh, he said it, he said something that, uh, that specific remark at a mile uh, marker, at the minute mark, I want to say, 14, 14 minutes in, 14 minutes, 14 seconds, you can get there. He mentioned about, you know, in like when a pancake is unturned or, you know, a cooked burger is unturned. So referring to us as a people as, you know, being trodden, trodden down and ran over and ran through and, you know, oppressed, you know, you know, we, we, we've been cooked as a people, man. We, we still on that side that's been burnt, ran through, oppressed, you know, but the burger has to be flipped at some point, <laughs> You know, the burger has to be flipped at some point, man. So, yeah, you know, likening, likening uh, 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 ourselves. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? Making an analogy, likening you onto a, a, a cooked burger, right? That is that is unflipped, man. We're not flipped yet. We're still on that side that under the fire, man, we, we, we live under the curses and being oppressed, you know, and and, 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 and and the adversary have his foot on our neck, man. You know, Psalms twenty Psalms eighty three, man, when you read it it tells you. Okay, the nations have their foot on our neck, man. Okay, but the Lord our Savior our Shah is coming to deliver us. Okay, so at some point the burger's gonna get flipped, man. Right side up. Okay, rightfully so. And then uh do the uh Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse one to verse fourteen, those blessings they're going to be open back up to us again. Okay? So we're going to be the rulers of the earth, uh, uh, joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know? Uh, King David, uh, the 12, uh, judging over the 12 tribes, 144,000 ruling government, 130 elect men, women, and children. You know? Ruling over the nations, man. That's 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 the kingdom of heaven. You know? Um, yeah, I don't want to write the part of that special number that, you know, go on the first go round. You know, but yeah, we that we that we that cooked that burnt burger man that's you know burnt in heat, you know under the curses, being oppressed, you know went into slavery, all of these things. Okay, we transgressed against the Most High. He put these nations over us. Yeah, but the Most High say he's gonna have mercy, according to uh, uh, Isaiah the 14 chapter, beginning at verse one and two, where the Lord say, you know, he's gonna he, he, he's gonna yet yeah, he's gonna have mercy on us, man. You know, and those that oppressed us. Uh, according to the Bible, okay, 
we're going to have to pre uh, 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 oppress them. We're going to have to put them in slavery because they put us in slavery, man. That's what the scripture said according to the scripture. Okay? So once again, I got some scriptures lined up here. Once again, this lesson is um, uh, uh, inspired by the elder apostle Rakar. Okay? His video is uh, the devil. This devil is going to pay, man. And his channel is GMS Push Harder. And you can find out the remark I'm talking about is at a minute mark of the 14 minutes and about 14 seconds in. All right? Uh, the video was done May 3rd, okay, 2022. So let's get some scriptures, man. All right? This is the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter, and the seventh verse. It says, Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah, so what do you sow into the earth? That's what's going to come back to you, man. All right? Those that, in, those that enslaved us, they're going to have to pay for that, man. Okay? There is a payment for that, man. And we don't need fiat, fiat currency. We don't need, uh, 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 what's that? What is it? 40 acres and a mule, man. That's long gone, man. We're looking for the most size, the most size true justice, man. Okay? Which the Lord say, those that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. And that's it, man. It's no going around it. All right? From there, we're going to go to the book. Let's get the book of Colossians. Right? And it's all through the scriptures, man. It's not going around, man. No matter what vocab and the rest of his crew try or, or think. Okay? This word is to the pulling down of strongholds, man. It's not going around the words of the Lord. This word is purified seven times, man. Seven is the number of completion. So it's nothing they can do. Okay? It's none that can deliver out of the hands of the Lord, man. All right? This is the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 25. It says, But he that doeth wrong... And who did the wrong? Esau, the wicked man. He put us in slavery. He put yokes of iron around our neck. Go to Google and punch in yoke of iron and see what come up. All right, it says, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons. Okay, the scripture tells us there is no respect of persons. This is all in the scripture. This is biblical. This is not my words. This is the word of the Lord. Okay? This is straight out of the Bible. All right? That's what it is. They're going to have to pay for the things that they've done. All right? Ain't no going around it. Ain't no getting around it. All right, let's go to the book of... Let's go to the New Testament again. And let's get... Uh, let's get... Uh, Second Thessalonians, the first chapter. All right? Let's get Second Thessalonians, the first chapter. And for, and for, and for you so-called Christians who like to start reading the Bible at, at Matthew, at the New Testament, because the, the Old Testament don't exist. These first three scriptures, what I brought out, all of them in the New Testament. Okay? I brought out uh, Galatians 6 and 7. I just brought out Colossians 3 and 25. This Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. And it reads, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right, and it's not as if uh, 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 you could make void uh, the Old Testament because the Most High, the Lord tell you he come in the volume of the book. Okay, that's written in Hebrews, the 10th chapter and the 7th verse. And also Psalms, the 40th chapter and the 7th verse. It's in the New Testament and the Old Testament. The Lord say he come in the volume of the book. So, you see, a lot of you plantation Christians, you can't get it right, man, because the Spirit ain't dealing with you. All right? This is Second Thessalonians again. Once, once again, New Testament, Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right? So it's, it's these scriptures, you can't get around these, man. You, you cannot get around them. It's just no way. Okay? From there, we're going to go to the book of, um, let's go to, uh, let's get Isaiah. Isaiah, the 51st chapter. It's Isaiah chapter 51 verse 22 and verse 23 it says thus said thus said thy lord yahweh and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people okay who is his people the israelites man and it's, uh, uh, beginning with the elect it says behold i have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling what's that talking about it's talking about the curses and slavery man even the dregs of the cup of my fury Thou shalt no more drink it again. So our punishment is up, man. Is 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 coming off of us, according to the book of uh. That's another scripture. I didn't even draw that down, but it just came to mind. Deuteronomy chapter thirty and verse seven. And all these curses shall go. Uh, shall, shall I put upon uh, thy enemies, man? The curses are going to come off of us and go unto the people who oppress us. All right. It says, 
I'm going to get that scripture too. Even the dregs of the cup of my fury, thou shalt no more drink it again. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down. And that's what we did. We bowed down. These people literally walked on our babies, man. Okay? Like a rug that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. And who went over? Our oppressors, man, Esau. Okay? So, hey, our punishment is being accomplished, man. Okay? But the scriptures speak about these things going on to our enemies, man. Let's get that. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 1. Salakia 30 and verse 7. It says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And where you find these curses? Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. Okay, beginning at the 15th verse on down to the 68th verse, man. All right? Now, let's go from there. We're going to go to the book of Lamentation. Now, we, these are Old Testament scriptures. So, the, hey, the Lord come in the value of the book, man. We got some New Testament scripture. Let's get some old ones now. Let's go to the Old Testament. Scriptures say look for the old way. Look for the old path. Okay? You cannot have, you cannot have, uh, 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 you cannot have an end without a beginning. You cannot have darkness without light. You see? You see how this works? It works, to, it's no going around it, man. Let's get Lamentation. Lamentation uh, chapter 4, the 4th chapter. The 4th chapter, jumping in out the 21st verse. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, right, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Yeah, you're going to be exposed, man. Like the Apostle Paul said in 2 Thessalonians, uh, 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 the second chapter. Right? And these times, uh, Jeremiah the 49th chapter and the 10th verse, but I have made Esau bear. He shall not be able to hide himself, man. In these times, the tongue falling upon themselves, as I tell you in the book of Psalms, the 64th chapter and the 8th verse. Okay, they're being exposed. All right? Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 22, it says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Okay, meaning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood and lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, it says... The, uh, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And we're living in a time that you're being discovered, man. All right? You can, no longer that you can tell people that Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas, man. The, the, the Northern Kingdom been here, man, long before. Gad, Reuben, Issachar. Okay? That's it. It's no going around it, man. This is the book of um let's go to get Jeremiah. Jeremiah. We can end this lesson in the Old Testament. Let's get Jeremiah. Jeremiah the 49th chapter. And let's get the 12th verse. Right? Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. It says, For thus said the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup meaning the Israelites, have a surely drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether, so like, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Okay? Thou shall not go unpunished, but thou shall surely drink of it. Yeah, I mean, it says it's going to happen to you. It must happen to you, because why? The scriptures say the word of the Lord doesn't return unto him void. And the scriptures say, uh, that's what, um, Isaiah 55 and 11, Okay? Uh, numbers, uh, 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 what's that, 9, 23, 19, where the Lord said, the man, the, the Most High is not a man that he should lie, nor the Son of Man that he should uh, repent. All right? Shall he, sh shall he say it and shall he not make it good? Okay? So the Lord said, For thus said the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup of a surely drunken. We, we, we did it, man. We that burger unturned in heat under these curses, being oppressed. And art thou he? That shall all together go unpunished. Why? Well, those who oppressed us. You think you're going to just walk off into the sunset? And the lemonade in the shade? No, nah, man. You're going to get your judgment also. It says, thou shall not go unpunished. But thou shall surely drink of it. Alright? So it's no getting around it. You're going to drink of it also, man. Yeah. You're going to drink of it also. No no doubt about it, man. Alright? Let's get... um. Let's get another one in Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. This is Jeremiah chapter 30. 
and verse uh, 16. And it says, Therefore all they that devour thee, who devoured us, man? Esau and the other nations. Okay, read Psalms 83. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, according to the scriptures, man, the word of the Lord. And all thine adversary, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Thus said the Lord, yeah, how about Shimei was shy, man, through the prophet Jeremiah. All right? That's it. It's not going around it, man. Ain't no going around the words of the Lord, man. Let's get this in Revelation. Revelation, the 13th chapter, beginning at the ninth verse, it says, If any man have an heir, let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? Now, <laughs> hey man, the words of the Lord, <laughs> the words of the Lord, it, it, it's just not going around it, man. All right? E no going around it. All right. It's no, it's no, it's no, it's not going around the word of the Lord, man. That's it, plain and simple. They're gonna have to pay for the things that they did, right? I'm trying to see if I can find a particular scripture to close out with. If I can find it real quick, let me see if I can find it real quick, right? Let me see if I can find the scripture real quick, and then I'm gonna close out. Bible Kashar, hopefully it'll come up. It's elude me right now. Uh, let me see if I can find the scripture and I'm going to close out with the scripture right here. But uh, you're going to have to pay, man. All right? They going to have to pay, man, for what they've done. Most I say, hey, man, he's bringing his indignation for the, for the, for the controversy of Zion, man. All right, and if I can find the scripture real quick, then I'll close it out. There we go, there we go. All right, this is the book of um, Psalms, the 12th chapter and verse six. It says, the words of the Lord are pure words. So remember, these words come out of the Holy Scripture, the Holy Bible, okay? It says, the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times okay purified seven times so what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the fate of the most high without effect god forbid make the most high be true and every man a liar the lord say he that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity man that's it he not going around it the words of the lord are purified seven times that's the point what i was trying to make so hey once again hopefully you were edified on to the next one shalom